Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. My brothers and sisters in Islam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us certain etiquette and manners concerning the bathroom. One of these etiquette is a dua that we are supposed to say when we enter the bathroom. And this dua is of two parts. The first part is to say Bismillah. And this is a hadith narrated by Ali radiallahu anhu in where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, سَتْرُ مَا بَيْنَ أَعْيُنِ الْجِنِّ وَعَوْرَاتِ بَنِي آدَمْ أَنْ يَقُولَ أَحَدُكُمْ إِذَا دَخَلَ الْخَلَاءِ بسم الله And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that uh, the concealment or the covering, the covering between the eyes of the jinn and the privates of mankind is for a person to say بسم الله when he enters the bathroom. So we are responsible to cover our privates from mankind and from jinn kind. How do you cover your privates from al-jinn? By saying Bismillah. And how do you cover your privates from the eyes of humans? By keeping away or moving away from them, such as entering the bathroom, closing the door. And if you're in open space in a desert, for example, you go somewhere far away from the eyes of the people. That's the first half of the hadith. The second part of the uh, dua is to say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al wal khaba'ith. And this is narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari or Muslim that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when he entered the bathroom or when he entered a place to relieve himself he would say Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al wal khaba'ith. Which means, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you. I seek your protection from al khubuthi wal khaba'ith. Min al khubuthi with a dhamma on the ba' khubu thi. This would mean from all evils and all harm. And it could also be said in another way. Al khub thi. With a dhamma on the ba' on the sukoon on the ba' Al khub thi would mean the male devils. Wal khaba'ith is the plural of khabitha. And this is the female devils. So if you said Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khub thi. Dhamma with a, with a sukoon. Wal-khaba'ith, it means, O oh Allah, I seek your protection. Protect me from the male and the female devils. And when a person enters the bathroom, he enters with his left foot. And then he enters this bathroom saying, after saying this uh, dua. Also, the other thing that is being mentioned is that if a person forgot to say this dua, and then he remembered while he is relieving himself, what does he do in this situation? Al ulama, rahimahumullah, they said that he should say this dua in his heart and not upon his tongue because dhikrullah, the remembrance of Allah, while relieving oneself and while a person's privates are uncovered, is not allowed. You should not be making dhikr of Allah in such a state. So if you remember while you're inside, you say it in your heart. And it is very important to say this dua when you enter the bathroom. And to teach your children to say this, and your friends and your family. Because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna hadhi al muhtadara. That these areas in where a person relieves himself, such as the bathroom, are muhtadara. They are present with the shayateen, with the devils and the jinn. So a person says this dua and he seeks Allah's protection. We ask Allah azza wa jal to save us from all harm and evil. And from the devils, the male and the female of them, Wallahu Alam, Wa Sallallahu Asallam wa Baraka ala Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.